Hi, it's Mark Ponsak, Head of Product at GitLab, and I'm going to show off an idea we have for Auto DevOps. At GitLab, we believe in learning the best practices from around the industry and making them available to everyone in an easy and default way in our integrated platform. Auto DevOps is our vision for doing just that for the intersection of development and operations. What I'm going to show is our vision that hasn't shipped yet, so some features may change, or some may not ship at all. I'm starting off with a plain vanilla Rails app. Literally, Rails new. Now we'll just check it into version control. And now we add the GitLab remote. Now we push it up. GitLab detects the new URL and auto-creates a project for me. And then without any further action, it starts a CI-CD pipeline, starting with auto-build. If you have nothing specified, it'll use Heroku build packs to detect the language and build an appropriate Docker image. If you have a Docker file, it'll use that instead. Then it kicks off Auto CI by running Heroku test packs for your language. And then when everything looks good, it auto deploys to production. If you have nothing configured, it'll use a default Helm chart to deploy to Kubernetes. If you have a Docker Compose file, it'll use that instead. Or if you have a Helm chart in the repo, or if you specify a Helm chart in a project variable, it'll use your custom chart. Now let's go and make a code change. Here, I'll just make a trivial change to the readme, put it in a new branch, and create a merge request. So now, in addition to auto build and auto CI, it's running auto code quality to make sure you're not introducing bad code practices in the merge request. And it's creating auto review app so you can see those changes live. Back to the merge request, we see a link to the new review app right on the merge request. So that's it. Auto DevOps, complete with Auto Create, Auto Build, Auto CI, Auto Deploy, Auto Code Quality, and Auto Review App. Thanks for watching.